square. My man. Yeah. What's up, girl? Give me a call. It's funny, because if you're driving a modern cab, you're obviously not getting checked out by chicks. <laughs> but the thing about a checker, you know, it's got such a good cinematic vibe. Look at these dudes jumping in. Look at these dudes. Watch this. My man. I just totally photobombed that kid with a middle finger. He was, dude, a kid jumped on the hood at the red light and took a selfie, and I leaned in for his buddy's camera and gave him a nice middle finger. Hope he doesn't think I'm mad at him. Oh yeah, 43rd, baby. That's where it all goes down. Wow, these are brave tourists barreling in front of you. guys know I have no brakes, right? <laughs> you know I'm driving a 1968 automobile, right, guys? Like, if I want to stop, it's not always my choice. So dig this. A group of volunteers out in San Francisco reportedly found $50,000 in cash buried in a community garden, but they immediately notified police. Scientists have a word for people who do this. They're called idiots. <laughs> oh, silly. But I hit the streets to find out what people would do if they found that kind of dough. Watch. My man, if you found $50,000, $50,000, what are you doing with that money? Probably spending it, I'd say. You're damn right you are. Yeah. That's right, let's break it down. Yeah. $50,000, what yeah. percentage goes to alcohol? Uh, well, so seeing as I'm Scottish, probably about 50. I respect that. <laughs> <it. laughs> I would say that. What yeah. percentage goes to strippers? Ooh. The other 50. <laughs> the other 50! <laughs> if you found $50,000, what would you do? I would spend it. You're damn right you would. And this on is all you... these shops. What would you spend it on? A new car. A new car? Oh, a new car. Where are you from? New Jersey with that accent? No, United Kingdom. United Kingdom in the house. If you found $50,000 on the street, what would you do? Take it and run away. Give him to Trump to save this country. Yeah, <laughs> dude! That's where you're wrong. I would give it to Melania and ask her out. I'd find an anti-Trump organization to give it to Oh, you guys are like opposite buddies. I love this. Wait a minute. You're the only liberal with a mullet. How do you square that? What do you think you guys spend it on? Food. Food? Food. Baby, you're in good. You come on. 50,000 worth of food? Yeah. Uh, is food a code word for strippers in Israel? Obviously. I'll buy a car. He would buy a car. What kind of car are you buying? A Lambo. Yo, I gotta be honest with you. If you're buying a Lambo for 50,000, you're getting a really old Lambo. <laughs> Not in good shape. You're getting a, you're actually getting a Fiero with a Lamborghini decal on it. How much of it are you donating to charity? <clears throat> Yep. That was a real long <laughs> no right there. I respect that. You get one of these. Maybe I'm going to probably give it to my mom. Ah, oh, what if he's going to give it to his mom? Dude, I am a, my mom would blow it on white Zinfandel spritzers and blackjack. My mom is the last person to get the money. Donate it to charity. To charity. I would donate to charity, too. Charity is my favorite dancer at Flash Dancers. So what are you spending the money on? What am I spending the money on? Um, traveling. Traveling? Yeah. But you're already here in New York. Yeah, but there's so many other things. Where do you want to go? Uh, Asia. Asia? Yeah. Ooh, that's Japan, hot. Japan. Japan, Japan works. Yeah. Do you want me to save you a lot of money? Yeah. Go to Flushing, Queens. <laughs> Same experience. <laughs> you get it all. <laughs> what percentage of that jug is actually yeah. orange juice? But, uh, it's, not, check right it's, now? It's, it's, mate, it's not been opened. It's not been oh, opened. Okay. But, I know, but I've seen this movie before nah, too, Scotland. Just, does this what, what's end, it called? Does this end with like you guys reenacting Braveheart, where he's like punching you in the nuts and you're yelling freedom? <laughs> well, How kinky does it get? Well, I get my arse out. Wow, this guy's <laughs> getting nuts, man! Hot damn! All right, good stuff, fellas. Let's get off the TV while I'm still employed. <laughs> Still got it, New York. Uh, long story short, most people are not giving it back. But what about our saintly panel, Ryan, Katie, and Rich? Did you notice one commonality there, Katie Pavlich? Nobody's giving it back. Uh, 
I have some questions. Yes, let's get into money. it. Uh, first it, of all, it's in a community garden. Yes. So it's basically like a communist central place. <laughs> yeah. There may be some human excrement around. You've got to be careful about Sanford. that. Uh -huh. uh, it's in San Francisco. You mm -hmm. may get fentanyl poisoning from it, so you should wear gloves before you look through it. Also, it was wrapped in red napkins, and it was sticky. Ooh. So I'm not sure I would take it, are you, honestly. Are you kind of, it's kind of a life risk to be going up? through the, the 50 ah, grand. Amazing. It's, it's, it's a, a risk to your life. Well, but I respect those who want to take the you, risk. You clearly have a better agent than we do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> She's a big star. So. I'm, you know, I'm taking it and killing the person I found. It. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, Ryan, you have fought a hell of a ground war as a comedian as yeah. a guy. But uh, I, I would do the same thing, man. Yeah. If I found $100,000, I would give up the 50000 <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you read the article though? They, yeah. they, they're so liberal. They were like, yeah. uh, it must have been the Lunar New Year. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's San Francisco. Uh -huh. It's a bad drug neighborhood. That's yes. like finding a bag full of opioids and being like, it must be the doctor's convention. Yeah. <laughs> this is clearly, okay, off the grid. I agree with that, Zioli, but does this concern you? Yeah. It's a large enough amount of money that it could have like a tracking device, but does it sound like it didn't have one? No, and I don't think so. And I have three kids, so that's a week's worth of groceries in this economy, so I'm <laughs> definitely keeping the money. But also, it might have been a payoff. Okay. Uh, somebody had to get the drugs for Joe Biden's State of the Union address. And also, <laughs> oh, no! that is a week's worth of gel for Gavin Newsom's hair. Oh. $50,000. Is this how he keeps it that's, black market? Yeah, and I think he just kind of dropped it. He was mayor of San Francisco, to don't forget. To his credit, I saw him last year. He was at a party in D.C. we were at. That man puts on hair gel with a soup ladle. Yeah. Like, it's not even <laughs> by true. hand. It's you know like the carbon footprint of the like, hair gel yeah. is like 28,000 like pounds gravy, of Sunday and he's too. just yeah. banging it out. Now, for whatever you think of the guy. But I do believe there's such a thing as a stupid tax, where if you have that much money and you lose it, you almost don't deserve to have it. Yeah. It's like if you were dating a supermodel, would you leave her alone at the bar? Well, I do remember last Tuesday, Jimmy, and... <laughs> <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm with a supermodel at a bar, it may not be a she. <laughs> it may not. No, yes, it is New York. It is yeah, New York. It's it's no, no, so long story short, we're all keeping the money. Don't listen to Katie Pavlich. No, Pavlich. I don't know. I might She's change my keep... mind. I'm kidding. Go I ahead. could call Hunter Biden to ask him to launder it. So, so, <laughs> just wash it. Just, just wash, wash it out it. for you. Can me. I just be clear in the name of bipartisanship and truth? The Trumps actually need the money right now more than the Bidens because of all this asset forfeiture. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, the way they valued Mar-a-Lago, you could just buy it with for 50 grand. I mean, there you go. <laughs> you could own Trump Tower yeah, right now. Right, exactly. Buy the golf course. That's funny. 